I just wanted to add a different perspective to the dialogue today. Uh, so a couple of months ago, over the winter break, I was called by CSIS, a CSIS agent, uh, who wanted to do some community outreach and uh, talk to me about anyone I might know, possibly, who is showing signs of radicalization, so maybe wants to travel, these are his exact words, who wants to travel abroad, um, obviously not for vacation. Uh, and he wanted to talk to me, and because he knew I was the, uh, the Muslim, uh, the president of the Muslim Student Association, he thought I would be the perfect person. So uh, I was, I thought it was a joke at first. I thought it was a prank call, but it wasn't. And he kept calling and, and texting me and wanting to meet with me. Uh, and so I finally met with him, and I was trying to have a discussion about things like Bill C-51 and uh, how it, there is violent acts happening to the Muslim community and how bills like this create fear uh, among young Muslims. And all he wanted to know was pretty much a list of names. He wanted to know people who wanted to travel abroad. And obviously, you know, the things that the, the MSA does are like bowling events and stuff, like just harmless. Uh, so I guess my point is, is that myself and a lot of Muslim youth are concerned about bills like this because it creates a fear amongst us to say or do anything. Now, people are worried that they make a Facebook post criticizing Bill C-51 or criticizing the Harper government, it's gonna end them uh, you know, uh, locked up under a security certificate or thrown in jail or, or something like that. And you know, now we have discussions when we're planning events of, should we go paintballing? Is that gonna seen as like, you know, we're <laughs> terrorist training camp or something? <laughs> But, but these are legitimate things, these are legitimate fears that you know we have to think about because of things like this omnibus bill. So um, I just wanted to add that perspective and thank you all so much for coming out today and, and showing solidarity to end Bill C-51. I hope that we see it gone very soon. Thank you very much.